Hello children. Uh, I welcome you to this lesson. And uh, today we are going to talk about the properties of matter. We are continuing with uh, the topic from where we stopped yesterday. Who can remind us what we discussed? That is good. Uh, we we discussed about the, the 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 oxygen being used in breathing. That is good. So uh, we said that oxygen is very important to plants and animals. Who can name some of the? Who can state some of the uses of oxygen in breathing? Okay, well, that is good. Now, we said that uh, oxygen in our day-to-day -day life activities, it is used in hospitals and uh, for newborn babies and also for those uh, patients who have uh, difficulties in breathing and uh, it is also used in uh, in the deep sea, for for those ones, for the people who are swimming, and the people who are swimming are called those ones who go to the deep sea. We call them the divers. Now, uh, we also have for those ones who are climbing the mountains, they use they take the oxygen. Uh, in containers, those are tanks, so that they can help it in the higher mountains because there is no enough oxygen in the, in the, on the mountains. Enough oxygen. There is there, but not enough. Now, uh, today we are going to talk about uh, the, uses of, uh, the uses of air. Remember, we have the components of air. And we said that there are four. So we are going to see part of this uh, air, which is nitrogen. So the uses of nitrogen. The uses of nitrogen. Can everybody say the uses of nitrogen? That is good. Now, as you know, which is the percentage of nitrogen? Which is the percentage of nitrogen as we learned? Class? That is good. Oh, uh, nitrogen is, as you have said, nitrogen is 78%. Remember we said 78% comes from the hundred percent. We have the hundred percent. So from the hundred percent, we have the nitrogen, as we said, and the nitrogen is seventy-eight percent. So it is large in the air. Now, uh, uh, so nitrogen is used in plants. Now, plants, some plants, not all of them. But some plants use nitrogen. Now, uh, we have those, those plants which are called uh, leguminous plants. Class, can you say? Leguminous plants. Now, which are these leguminous plants? That is good. Now we have uh, plants which are rich in in protein. Plants which are rich in pro protein are leguminous plants. So we have uh, beans. Another one. We have peas. That is good. Another one. Uh, we have groundnuts, that is good. 
Which other one? That is good. We have green uh, grams. Green uh, grams. Uh, green grams. Which other one? Now, these are some of them. That is good. These are some of the uh, leguminous plants. Now, the leguminous plants are very special to us human beings. Why? Because they produce the protein which is needed in the body. Now, uh, these leguminous plants are uh, special, special roots. They have special roots. And these facial roots are structured. These facial roots are structured. So we have a plant there. Now, remember, this is a taproot plant. So the leguminous plants have very special very special uh, structures. They have structures like this one. Now, these ones are called root nodules. Can everybody say? That is good. The root nodules. Now, these root nodules are very special because they are the ones which captures the plant captures the nitrogen. Now, when it is being captured, it is changed. Nitrogen in the air is changed by this plant to have nitrate. Now, the nitrate is very, very important. Why? Because it is going to make, it is going to help the plant make the protein. It is going to help the plant make the protein. So the luminous plants are the ones which use the nitrogen in the air. Now, in the soil, in the soil, we have it is, uh, we have some air in the soil as you learned in class four, so it is going to help this plant to change the nitrogen to nitrate, and the nitrate is very important to the to the to the plant. So it is going to change so that we can have the protein. So. Uh, Children, we have said that nitrogen is 78% and this uh, nitrogen is in the air, it is large, it is much in the air, so it, is, it helps the plants to do what? To change the nitrogen, then it helps the plants so that it can make the protein. Now, remember the plants uh, manufacture food in the leaves. The plants manufacture food in the leaves, so um, the roots are the ones which will help these plants so that the food can be manufactured and in the process we have the plant protein. Now, we are also going to look at the other gas, the other gas that is air, which is inert gas. Now, we say inert gas
We are also going to look at the uses of uh, inert, inert gas or gases. Now, inert gas, we said, is also known as, that is good, it is also known as rare gas. So, we are going to look at that. Now, as we said, inert gas is part of the air. Now, inert gas is takes which percentage? That is good. So, inert gas uh, takes the percentage of 0.97%. It takes, can everybody say? That is good. It takes, inert gas takes 0 0.97%. So, inert gas, inert means not active. Inert means not active as oxygen. Remember, oxygen is active because we have seen uh, what it does. Uh, but this gas, we only use it in uh, other things. So, inert gas is also important because it is used in lighting the bulbs. Now, uh, I want you to look keenly on this. I'm holding something. What am I holding? That is good. This is a bulb. This is a bulb. What type of bulb do we, is this? That is good. It is known as no. It is known as fluorescent bulb. It is known as fluorescent bulb. Can everybody spell this one? That is good. So you have known this bulb is known as fluorescent bulb. Uh, bulb. Now it is, if you look at the shape, it is just a tube. It is a tube. But if you look at the end of it, it is connected. Uh, it has some uh, two, two wires. And these two wires are the ones which are going to be connected so that we can see the light inside here. Now, you have also you also have at your homes you also use electricity so the electricity is also connected without the bulbs you cannot see the lights why because it is the one which is going to help us get the light now so we have the the smaller bulb we have the smaller Bulb, which is also used in our houses. Now, what about in our day to daily life activities? How is it used? How is inert gas used? Have you ever known how uh, inert gas is used? Now, that is good. You have tried, but you have not got it. Now, inert gas is used in advertisement. It is used in advertisement. How is it used in advertisement? Now, when, uh, when uh, the, 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 the TV, we have seen the TV, it brings out, we have those TVs which, have, uh, which are colored. Now, 
We also have, we also see the advertisement. It comes in colors. And it is very exciting. For example, lately we have saved gas. Huh? Does it attract you? That is good. Now, uh, when we are walking along the road, I'm very sure you have seen some of the words, some of the pictures. They are put in very big papers. Now, inert gas is also uh, used in advertising. You see some of the lights. At night, you can see it. During the day, you can see it. Now, what about, uh, we call them, we call them this, these ones, the ones which we see. The ones which we see along the road uh, are, uh, we have them as billboards and signboards. Now, uh, I'm very sure we have M-Pesa around. M-Pesa around where you are living. Now, the M-Pesa also advertise by using very shining eh, bulbs. Now, those shining bulbs are the ones uh, inside there. They use, they use inert gas. The inert gas is the one which is used in advertising. I'm very sure you have seen some of the emphasis where they are put the bulbs and you can see them. Now, we also have our torches. Our torch also uses the bulbs. Uh, they are the parts which glow and then we see different colors. We have the different colors. You can put the bulbs in our houses, we can put, we can have blue, we can have uh, green, we can have the red. Have you ever seen those? That is good. So in our daily activities, in our daily life, we also, we use those ones. So uh, today, I want us to go and at night or as you reach home i'm very sure you're going to do that you are going to see that you you make sure uh, you try to find out but but don't uh, don't touch them when they are lighting because they are very dangerous so for today we'll stop there uh, and bye bye thank you for listening